I just speak to uh, the gentleman through there? Uh, yeah. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> you take it, you joking? No, I'm not joking. I don't know what the hell's going on. Erica, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you, yeah. Today we're setting up former Olympic gymnast turned YouTuber, Niall Wilson. Hey, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm fantastic, thank you. He thinks he's coming on a podcast celebrating British culture. I'll sit on this, I'm a bit higher. <laughs> Do you want like a phone book to sit on? But he has no idea about the culture clash heading his way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, just kick off? Okay, awesome. Uh, I'm Erica Ehler, and this is the Full English Podcast, where a proud Canadian and a lady of the Commonwealth discuss British culture with a noted British celeb, bronze medal Olympian and YouTuber. Uh, <laughs> that's right, I'm joined by Niall Wilson. Woo! Thank you very much, Niall. Yeah, it should be good. I mean, didn't you drive from Leeds, they were saying? We drove from Leeds. I really like Leeds. I, I, I went to university in the north, and sometimes I would take a train over. Well, I just I just finished university. Uh, All right. So I'm Fantastic. in between. Where did you go? Visas. Um, I went to uh, Salford Uni. Salford. Yeah. Do you like it? Love it. Not quite as good as Leeds. Leeds it's... is the best city on the planet. I thought you just meant university. I thought you were just shitting on my um, <laughs> my education. No, nothing to do with that. I, I, I didn't have an education. I did sports, which we'll probably talk well, about. Well, that's that's sort of an education. <laughs> um, what do you think is harder, personally, being a gymnast or a YouTuber? Athlete. What about yourself? Would you like to learn a backflip? Would I like to learn a, a, yeah, a, yeah. a backflip? I could get you doing a backflip in five minutes. Well, maybe maybe towards the end. Yeah. I hope I get a head injury. <laughs> Why? Um. <laughs> cool. So on this show, we like to do like a culture swap. And I think the best way to learn about each other's cultures is through food, through the stomach. Mm. I was told that you brought in. Um, uh, okay, let's see it. Would you like it? Yes, please. These are your very own pork scratchings. What's yours? Have you got yours? I do have mine. Uh, but before I bring mine out, I well, mine's actually quite sentimental, right. to be honest. Like, so this is a dish um, that my grandmother used to make right. um, during like the Great Depression. But this is this is what she would eat, and I and we still eat it uh, during on Canada Day. Just to pay respects. Oh my god, what on earth is that? So that's custard. Right. With anchovies. Oh my god. And is that like oil in there as well? Yeah. Like that. Oh my gosh. Wow. It, it, to be honest, it wouldn't be something that I'd go for. You wouldn't eat that? Absolutely not. <laughs> Wait, do you really like, do you like it? I look forward to it every year um oh, I, think so. well, I will say before we before we do that i think we, so there's this thing that we do in canada where we just pay respects to the land that we're on because obviously it was mm -hmm. colonized so i'm just going to quickly do a land acknowledgement and then we can go and try the food okay okay we acknowledge the land we are meeting on on this traditional territory of many nations including the mississaugas of the credit the ashkenabi the Chippewa and the Hood and O Snowy. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. For those. Sorry, I'm getting. Um... It just reminds me of home. Mm. So I, I don't mean to get like, like that. I'm actually kind of embarrassed, but. Um... Sorry. No, it's it's. It's, I don't know why I'm like this, you know? Oh, I just, I, I hate emotions. I hate, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, anyway, I'm going to continue with Keep the, going. I'm going to, yeah, I need, it. okay, I need to continue. Um, I think I might, I might do the French version. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Canada. Terre de nos aïeux. Cabron, c'est pas le saint pot la croix et ta valeur en fleur de gloria. Sorry. Sorry. Can't wait to eat this. You can't. Is it a requirement of the podcast that I have to taste that? It's not, a, I don't want to force you to do anything you don't want to do, but I do think it would be a little bit 
you know, rude considering. Mm. Okay. There is a there is a spoon underneath the desk, so you so you can, can at least. <laughs> We're all about opening our minds here at the Full English, so... Yeah, my mind's... My mind is fine. It's just my nostrils. Uh, and my taste buds. <sighs> oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to eat that. Should we pretend? Mmm. Mmm. You can do a nice cut there. Mmm. Okay, so we're just gonna do like a little quiz okay. about the Royals. Oh no. Are you a fan? Yes. Okay. What we'll do is, it's like, they're all true or falses, and what you can do is just, we'll write down the answer. And then show it. And then show it. Okay. Yeah. True or false, does the queen pay taxes? True. Yeah, I went with true too. There we go. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad she does. I'm glad she does. Mm. True or false, is the queen of German heritage? Does that mean her family are German? Like if she did a 23 in me. If she did a what? You like spit in a cup, you <laughs> into right. a cup, and then it comes sends back to you, yeah, just, and then right, it's like okay. 90, so she, 99% German. All right, I'm gonna go false. I don't think the queen of England is German. <laughs> it's true. No way. So like even still now, she's has a, like a heritage is is more German than English. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, I guess I surely thought it was going to be false. Okay, true or false? Queen Elizabeth and the late Prince Philip were cousins. Oh God, I hate these questions. <laughs> Who's Prince Philip? The dude that croaked recently. Her husband. Oh, surely not though. False. It is true. Oh my God. It is actually true. I'm so, I just feel so biased that I've just said, who's Prince Philip? Of course I know who Prince Philip is. There's the cousins thing threw me off. Didn't throw them wow. off. Wow. Do you ever catch a vibe with a cousin? <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I don't, no. No, I no. Not for me, that. Oh, we're doing the show and tell. Shall I do mine first? Yeah. Okay, it's a very cute trophy that my friend won literally last night. Right. But he won the West Didsbury New Comedian of the Year. And they gave him this. Oh, fantastic. Do you like that? I love it. It's, yeah, it's great. It's perfect on a mantelpiece that I've got a similar show and tell to that. It's not as not shiny, actually. This is, this is an Olympic bronze medal. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to hold it? You can is that absolutely, okay? yeah. Here, I'll, let's swap. Let's swap, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. It is heavy. Half a kilo it weighs. Can I? I'm gonna try it on. Is that okay? Absolutely. Yeah, put it on, and I'll uh, I'll take this home to put on my mantelpiece. I do have to give that back to Mr. Dan Tiernan, new right. comedian of the yeah, year. Yeah, you do have to give that back to me, unfortunately, well, of as well. Hi guys. So sorry to interrupt. Sorry now. Don't worry. Um, Erica, there's just there's some people here to see you. Um, could you just step out for five minutes and then we'll we'll carry on. Sorry. Oh. Okay. You've got some visitors. Yeah, I don't. I'll see what this is. Okay. I'll be back in like two secs. Okay. So it's quite urgent. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, okay. Mal. No worries. Okay. Coming. No Sorry about this. I'll, I'll be back. Cool. No worries. Awesome. Can I just speak to uh, the gentleman through there? Uh, yeah. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Um, no worries. Yes, okay. I'm from immigration. Um, the lady you were speaking to, we're actually, uh, I've been investigating her. <laughs> and. Um, you take it, you're joking. No, I'm not joking. Uh, she's here working illegally, but she's got a medal on her that she claims that she won uh, competing for Britain in the Olympics. I don't <laughs> think that's true. Um, excuse me. I don't think that's true. I need you to confirm that that's your medal, so we can deport her. No, it's, it's my medal. Okay. It's, sorry. Yeah, Great. I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, okay, no problem. Well, Thank my, you so much. Sorry medal. about that. Yeah. It's my medal. I... What the hell's going on? Um, sorry about all this. It's such a mess. Um, could you just read this last bit out? 
and then you're done. You can go. Thank you. My name is Nara Wilson, and I've been on the fake podcast show. <laughs> you're right. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I felt so uncomfortable through the whole fucking thing then. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? I can't believe my own team and management had stitched me up like this. In my head the whole time I was like, this is not normal, this. <laughs> this is not normal. Like, what on earth is going on? All that was in my mind was that this doesn't seem right and this I'm uncomfortable but I'll just get through it. But then when obviously she left with the medal in the back of my mind I was like, is she gonna try and steal it? And then the policeman came in, but then obviously she came with the Oh my god, this is so bad! So 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 bad. So bad. I literally shake her hands and say like well done. That's genius, funny.